Hello everyone, welcome to Schedule Day Live, Liquid Friday edition. I'm only going to go for about 45 minutes here, so let's kick it off, get some warm-ups in, get moving. If this is your first time joining and you're on the Instagram, I do a full widescreen version of this on YouTube simultaneously, so if you want to see that, go check it out. That's where I'm hanging out. Appreciate you stopping by though. Much appreciated. As always, we'll warm up. Hope you had a good Friday so far. I had a rough day, honestly, I had a rough day. So um, if I seem a little bit off, sketching is my happy place. So let's go, let's do it. All right, so like I said, if it's your first time, hit me up on the YouTube, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, that's where I hang out. That's where I'll be chatting with all of you. What's up, Antibus? Luke T. Luke is a Patreon. Patron. Thomas Wells. Fetlana. I have no idea what time it is. I mean, normally I go like, um, normally I go at like 10 a.m. But had some conflicts this morning. Had some family things to deal with. Parenting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, Latrice. I actually designed the logo on my shirt for a friend. It's for an equality, diver diversity, and inclusion group. Um, I could show you sketches for logos that I've done in the past. Um, I'm trying to build my portfolio on logos. I'm actually doing more photography as well. Still making stuff. I'm working on a website right now for my actual design entity. I'm excited about that. That's one of the reasons I've been just busy so when that's ready, I will drop it. Right now it's password protected, so don't even try. Don't even try. I think I listed it on my LinkedIn. If you're enterprising and creative, you could probably figure out what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just warm up real quick. Um, I know people have asked in the past for a motorcycle that came to mind as something I could do, but like I have the last few streams, I don't really know what I'm going to draw today. So if you have any ideas, something you want to see, let me know. I'll be happy to accommodate and draw that thing for you. What's up, Momink? Oh, Tom, it's midnight. Oh, goodness. So that means for Svetlana and Art, it must be, what, 4 a.m.? Something like that? 4 or 5 a.m.? Are you, like, vampires? You guys stay up all night? I did get some good news today from... Banton Frameworks, who are making my custom shades that I featured on the channel a while back. Um, finally have received materials, so those are under production. Um, we are going to make some custom horn tips for those shades, if you remember the design. So that's, that's pretty exciting. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out the YouTube, search for glasses. I actually did CAD on those as well. We did that live and worked through all of that stuff so Tom I'm honored you stay up to watch that's so cool the password is not sketch a day this is the website if you want to bookmark it I'll just send it to you but there's like literally nothing there right now I think my kids might be trying to kill each other it's just 5050 dot design there's a whole story behind the name um, well many stories but it felt right so 5050 dot design um, I'm just loading it up with projects right now um, and that's gonna kind of be my living portfolio all things design but happy to answer any questions about life the universe all the things that might be on your mind so appreciate you checking in staying up all that good stuff what is your beverage today I just got asked what my beverage is I'm drinking Pikesville rye whiskey from the uh, Baltimore area, from what I understand. It's a solid choice, not too expensive. I had some Yamazaki 12 yesterday to celebrate Friday Eve. I'm just drawing ellipses right now for no reason. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Friday Eve I celebrated with some Japanese whiskey and tonight we're enjoying Pikesville Rye Whiskey. So yeah, just keeping it simple. I 
think my kids might end up in a big brawl or something. There's like loud sounds, loud sounds and screams and all sorts of things you can't hear, but I told him, I was like, 45 minutes, that's all I need, 45 minutes, dudes. So let's see if we can get maybe three, two, three sketches down today. Could I draw a boathouse? Like, uh, yeah, I guess so. I could draw a house. Learning alias using VR. Oh, nice, dude. When I was in college, I learned alias just to learn it. It was a really great experience. Um, I, uh, it, was a, it was a program that the seniors and juniors would use. And then I, let's see, Boathouse. I've got to, I got to think about this one. Like, is there, is there some, some terrain here, perhaps? And then we can have, have the house. Hmm. It's a tricky one. Tricky. Tricky dicky. Pretty sure I've done boat houses before, but I'll just start with a box like this. I don't know where it's going necessarily. I don't really know. But we can start with start with something here. Maybe it's like a tall, kind of modernish boathouse. Perhaps throw a little little deck out here. I'm just going freehand too, so perspective might be totally off. And then you know, on top of the the uh, perspective situation that I may be creating for myself, it is Liquid Friday, so all bets are off. We're just gonna have fun. I feel like every every good house needs some sort of deck where you can kind of sit and just chill so that's what this is right here but maybe we have stairs you know we could do some some steps here I'm actually gonna just draw two lines to kind of kind of guide my process as I figure this out yeah this feels right some little steps out here All right maybe we can figure out I'm just gonna do the the tops of the treads to start keep it loose super loose so yeah once again if you're just joining on the YouTube if you have no idea what's going on you're like oh there's a black dude drawing on YouTube I'm Spencer I'm a designer slash creative slash artist been doing this for a while and I like to hang out and draw with you animals so that's what we're doing right now maybe this has some like cool central structure so that each of these is like floating you know A little bit modern, perhaps. I, I just, I like modern vibes. Especially when modern meets, like, classic. It just feels right. To me, anyways. It feels right. Um, what if this house, you know, had some sort of, like, sail? So it has just, like, a little, little awning canopy thing right here, perhaps. That could be kind of cool. Maybe extend this out just a little bit. Kind of wrap up there. All right. So this is feeling pretty good. Shoreline, a little bit of shoreline here. Stuff off in the distance. All right. We got the side of our house. And this feels like it should be. It's not really two levels. So maybe. I'm, che I'm totally cheating on the perspective on the side here, by the way, because the horizon would be right about here, and this is pretty pushed far over the side. I'm going to extend this roof element just a little bit. Maybe there's... I don't even know what that's called, but maybe there's something there. We got some, some planking going on. So yeah, maybe just a combination of classic, but also modern things like these these little windows these little porthole windows maybe there's a tiny boathouse <laughs> I feel like I'm totally blowing the proportion here but that's all right just having fun guys all right some clouds <clears throat> clouds right there hello Rodrigo what's up I saw you're giving a workshop you little monster 
Rodrigo's one of those people who started watching me way back in the day. And now he's he's teaching workshops. Pretty crazy. But congrats on that, my man. That's awesome. Makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside, although I'm not sure if it's you or if it's the whiskey, but Either way, I'm feeling warm and fuzzy inside. So nice to see you. Rodrigo Cavazos. Sorry, it's probably so disparaging. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, anyhow. What a world we live in, my friends. What a world. It's been crazy. Absolutely crazy. I haven't been sleeping well either. Um, just, there's just so much going on. Just feels like some days it just feels like a complete nightmare but I'm hoping for change and better things ahead so we'll see maybe I'll do some, uh, some roof I like doing metal roofs just because they're easy I don't have to worry about shingles and all of that stuff and metal roofs are cool now I just gotta figure out colors, my friends. Now we just gotta figure out colors. So what do you think, color-wise, for this boathouse? I thought about also taking a photo of this and rendering it, but unfortunately my iPad is currently upstairs in my casita. And I don't wanna leave the stream. So yeah. All right. Foundation, we got some rocks and stuff here. You know, maybe some more on the, the shoreline. Is this what you meant by boathouse? I hope you I hope this is what you meant by boathouse. Or did you mean like a house for a boat? Whoever it was that suggested, I forget. I don't remember what you mean, but yeah, this is totally off, but I'm just gonna roll with it for the most part. Maybe I can tweak a little bit, cheat a little bit here on the side. There's a couple ways I can cheat that. So, not terribly worried. All right, maybe just some hills off in a distance, maybe some other boat houses, little town over there. We've got maybe just a cool cool little sailboat just chilling. All right, something like that. This does feel a little bit weird with the two portholes. It's almost like it needs a smile, but I'm not going to do that. Actually, I could do that. <laughs> I could have like ropes on the house or something, so it feels like a smile, but um, a lighthouse. Thank you, Teddy. Yeah, just a quick sketch. I'm trying to do like three. I don't have a ton of time today. So uh, let's see. Colors. <clears throat> I got to pick some colors here. I actually did a house on the last stream too. Um, maybe we'll do like a blue for the boat house. Let's see if I can find a nice light blue here. Thank you, Pardis. Pardis says the perspective on the side view is terrible. I appreciate that. Thank you for calling that out. Um, let's see. So I'll just do blue here. As I called out myself. <laughs> uh, anyhow, people are fun. So I'll just color this in real quick. Like so. Maybe we'll do blue. Something like that. If you've been watching me for a while, one thing you'll notice is whenever I do make a mistake, I try to call it out. So. Feel free to call out my mistakes. Not a big deal. No worries about the perspectives. Okay, I'm gonna overlay it. <clears throat> because I actually don't think it's that off, but I'll overlay it for you all. Okay, so here's the box that makes up the house. 
Okay, just like that. So there's a main structure to the house, something like that. Okay, and then <coughs> Mr. Partis or Miss Partis or Human Partis, we have a horizon line going right through. So these lines converge on our horizon line. So perhaps this one maybe is a bit off, but I see it converging something like this, going all the way back. So if I were to draw the wireframe here more accurately, this side is driving the perspective, right? And then there's another vanishing point this way. So something like that. So if my roof is off, that's what's happening. If the side is off, that's what's happening. So happy Friday to you, my friends. People are funny. OK, um, <laughs> thank you <laughs> for liking the blue Latrice. Much appreciated. Mid side of the roof is going to nowhere. Well, I just drew, um, oh, you're talking about this line here? Yeah, you're right. So this should be more like, more like this probably. But I did do the overlay and I'm happy to correct here. But there's a vanishing point on this side over here and then there's another one on the other side. So, oh, Pardis, female, you're welcome. Thank you for the correction. I would love to see your house when you do draw yours live. Um, okay, let's do a roof. And I'm going to do just this warm gray here. And we'll just go up. So, and then on the inside here, I'm just going to use this gray and just block this in. I'm still trying to decide what I want to do color wise, but I'll figure that out eventually. Oh, why is my phone being carried? Okay, there we go. Just do something like that, and then a little bit of shadow in there. Did I show my proudest product? Oh, no, I didn't do that. Um, proudest product, that's a hard one. Um, I think I'll have to just do a special stream, but I have some paper here. Antibus. I'm going to make a note of it and make sure I'm ready for that. So, I mean, I have some stuff by my desk here that I've made, but you're not really going to see the sketches for it. And I'd love to show you the sketches for those if I'm going to do that. So if this house were like, in Jamaica, where I grew up, we always had bright colors on houses for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I feel like doing orange for this this canopy. Actually, and then when I spent time in Hawaii, it was kind of the same. You had these like really bright, bright colors um, in certain places on homes. It's just a thing. I don't know why, but it was kind of a thing. So piggybacking on the perspective discussion, it's always a dangerous thing to draw cars online because no matter how good your drawing is, if your ellipse is off in any way, that's what people fixate on. What's interesting though is I've observed other designers who draw cars and 
I can point out the same thing on their drawings, but for whatever reason, it's like people are like, your ellipse is two degrees off. And you're like, oh, thank you for your very thoughtful remark. It's just interesting. All right, let's get these little cables in here. Gotta make sure I have the exact count or someone's gonna call me out on that too. There's five on one side and six on the next. You know, you never know. The internet, unforgiving. All right, let me get the ground in here. I like using these yellows. So we'll just mix some of this, maybe some green in here as well. And we'll just kind of vignette this out. By that I mean I'm not shading everything in, but just creating kind of texture so it feels like ground. And let's see if I can find a green that'll work. Yeah, that works. So some sort of green, just kind of fill in. We'll do some gray as well. Probably a little too saturated on yellow. Call it Easter eggs. <laughs> Says Antibus. All right, and then let's get some water tone. I don't want to use for the water though. I need some. Pardon me. I need something like desaturated, not too bright. Maybe like even a blue-gray, actually. If I have one. If I've got one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that works. I'll just use this, this blue-gray here, keep it fresh, and then right where the house is, I'm going to kind of hint at some sort of reflections, things like these rocks reflecting back in, shoreline, right? Stuff like that. Um, if I want to bring in some of the color, I can maybe just with a hit of this warm gray over it and then shadows under here i want to use a cool gray for those shadows just over this portion here i am cheating a little bit like i haven't really shown the foundation of the house on the other side so i'm just gonna block that in but I can do something like that. Maybe some shadow for these floating stairs. Texture here and there. And I'll just go ahead and darken up the side of the house for contrast. And let's see, I want to get the sky in, just a, a light wash here. I wonder if I can use, yeah, there we go. Just a little bit of this marker. I'll just do a little wash around the clouds like so. All right, what are we sketching next, guys? I'm about wrapped up with this one. This perspective disaster, according to everyone. What am I gonna, what am I gonna sketch next? 
You guys tell me. What shall it be? And what do you guys want to see? So thanks again for joining Sketch Day Live. Much appreciated hanging out. Um, if I wanted to, you know, I could probably do just some little wood grain lines or some sort of texture line on this window section. Like maybe it is wood, it's just painted orange wood or something. While I'm waiting for your suggestion, I'm gonna beef up my lines here in certain spots. If I get no suggestions, I'll do a motorcycle next of some sort. Or I could do construction equipment. There's a lot of options. Camera, human. You could ask me about career advice. Whatever. I'm open. Thank you, Luke. Oh yeah, Luke. Tell you what, I'll do a center console thing for you. I know you're asking, and now I have a better idea or sense of what you were talking about. So, appreciate it. Luke, Luke just hit me up in a super chat and said thank you. Thank you, you sweet Jamaican man. So I appreciate it. I will fulfill a request from Luke. Luke. Manuel wants a turntable. I'm gonna do Luke's first. I think I'm gonna do Luke's first. So, Luke, what's it gonna be? And then I'll do a bike last. Some sort of center console thing. Luke is one of our patrons here for the channel, so. Man, he doubled down. He just contributed again. So I just want to say thank you, Luke. You're awesome. Much appreciated. Good evening, Andrew. What's up? All right, I think the bike I'll do last, but I'm just waiting on some input here from Luke. And then that'll be the stream today. Turntable's a great idea. Maybe I'll... Make a note of that. <laughs> All right, let's do a center console. So you just mean the, the portion between the two seats, correct? Or do you mean on the dashboard itself? I mean, I could do just a concept sketch for, how about we do like quilted leather? Um, like, maybe I'll just do a couple quick ideas here. So you're talking about stuff like, so Luke does like um, classic car retros, right Luke? So you could do some sort of vignette, for example, like this. Maybe even just do a, a cutoff here. And then whenever I do vignettes, sometimes I like to just have the background as part of it. And then on the top here, like I was saying, we could do some sort of quilted leather thing. I'm not really sure the angle here. I'm just kind of riffing. Okay. I better check my perspective though. You savages. <laughs> All right. Then maybe this, this side piece could be, you know, some sort of wood. Paneling. So that'll give us some interesting uh, texture. And then we could do maybe a little, little cup thing here. Some cup holders. Like, I don't know, Luke. I don't know what your, your clients like. Maybe they like chrome and wood. I don't know. We can, we can accommodate. You threw down. You threw down. I'll make it happen. On this liquid Friday. Now, in all seriousness, it means a lot when you guys contribute, when you watch the videos, when you show up. Um, 
means a lot. So thank you for that. So basically what I've done here, Luke, I'll just give you a quick um, overview is as I've been constructing this, um, as I've been constructing this because of the comment in the last video, I'm trying to pay attention to the perspective. So all these lines, I want to have them feel like they converge at a central point. These are going to converge at an auxiliary vanishing point. So there should appear to be some taper going up. But in actuality, what I'm thinking is I'm thinking of a box when I do this. So you can freehand sketch, but just pay attention to and this blue is like the worst. I'm sorry. But I'm trying to think of the box, right? If that goes back to that same vanishing point, the box that defines these pieces, I could probably have exaggerated the perspective here a bit more. Um, but it's all about this volume. Okay, and then everything else is kind of on top of that. So this little portion I quickly sketched, I'm still thinking of some sort of box. And yeah, you know, I've introduced a little bit of curve to it, attitude, that kind of thing. But that's how I'm thinking about the perspective. All right. So that's one sketch, one idea. I'm not super happy with it. Um, let's see, how are we on time? So let's do another one. All right, let's do another one. So maybe just sketch something like this, All right? Just enough of a vignette here that if this is your center console that you're designing, and I'm going to try and actually think through this. <laughs> so let's go up to this line and then I'm going to come over to the end over here because this I want to actually feel like um, almost like plywood. Maybe we could do some sort of tonneau. If you don't know what tonneau is, it's uh, like a roll top type construction here. And also if you're not sure what I'm doing, I am doing a quick center console sketch, something like a car truck, whatever. Luke is one of our patrons, threw down, contributed. That's probably enough to buy like a tenth of an ounce of Yamazaki 12 at a bar. So I appreciate it, Master Luke. Much appreciated. All right, we've been listening to this for a minute, so I'm going to switch it up. <clears throat> uh, thank you guys for joining on uh, Instagram as well, on YouTube. Got a bunch of people watching. And it's Friday. It's, it's freaking Friday. So I'm, like, blown away by this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, what was I going to do again? I forgot. Oh, well. <laughs> so let's say this is our console. To oh, tonneau cover. Roll top. So maybe there's, like, a... A cup holder thing here right but then if I want to cover this up and I could I'll just throw an arrow here maybe there's a little man now I'm like paranoid and checking my perspective so thanks for the call outs people making me making me paranoid now um, <laughs> but maybe there's some sort of uh, cover here that could you know roll up and, and cover up our our cup holder so that could be that could be kind of cool and let's put just a little maybe just a little wood nub here <laughs> thank you Luke Yamazaki is a very expensive Japanese whiskey there's a bar that serves it here in Salt Lake and it's $75 per pour. $75 for an ounce and a half pour. So <laughs> that's why I was just I was just clowning, but I do appreciate it. Thank you. It's 
freaking hot in my office too. It's crazy. Or the studio, I should say. I think I mentioned too, I'm gonna be building an outdoor studio. Um, kind of taking the operation outside. We'll see how that goes this fall. If you're interested in or curious about SketchUp, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to show you my kind of design build process in SketchUp. As always, as well, I'm going to be uploading this to the Patreon uh, Google Drive folder. That's where I share all the sketches. Um, I'm going to add the brush files just as a big old thank you. I'll add all the brushes that I've made. So if you want to be a patron, that's another way to do it. I'm just going to trust you. Normally I, I'm like, you know, wait two months and then, and then we'll see. But I'll just add it all as a thank you. So I'll be adding those tools. Um, keep an eye out for guides as well. That's something I'm working on. Try to make that a great experience for all of you just to say thank you. So I hope you appreciate it when it when it does roll out. Let me see if I can. I wonder if YouTube's gonna flag me for talking about alcohol on the stream here. Let's see. Yamazaki 12. Oh wow. It's crazy expensive right now, so. Um, what happened is hipsters got uh, got wind of Japanese whiskey, and then it all got bought out. And so when it got bought out, the prices just skyrocketed. And then they said, "We're not gonna be we're not gonna be shipping any more of this stuff." So instead of, I mean, it was like eighty nine, ninety nine dollars a bottle. Instead of that, it's now two, three hundred dollars a bottle. So if you can find it, awesome. If you can't, too bad. If you do find it though, let me know. Hit me up. <laughs> I'll totally buy it off of you. Even though you can't really technically do that in Utah for weird reasons, but maybe I'll explain that to you someday. All right, so I'm just trying to simulate a little wood grain and just do it real quick. So, Instead of applying like a smooth marker tone, I'm just trying to use the same marker. Maybe this is just, you know, some nice blonde wood here. We have a knot, a few little, few little dots and things here and there. All right. What's up, Roshan? Why aren't you in bed? Go to bed. Um. <laughs> So after the stream, I'll show you the material graphs I used to render this. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is Photoshop it onto an iPad and then I'll put crayons next to it so that you think that I did it with crayons. Just kidding. It's just a running joke between me and Roshan. Um, there's this weird thing on social media right now where <laughs> it's hard to even tell what's real. I've talked to professional friends of mine that have been in industry, creative directors, VPs, whatever, and everyone's like, what is happening? Um, I wrote a blog post on it early this summer. People got mad. Feelings were hurt. Bridges were burned. Thankfully, cities were spared, but it was an interesting time for me. Since then, I've decided to leave the tough conversations to my man Roshan he's he's the one with the plan the skills and all that so if you don't know who he is go check him out on Instagram <laughs> Roshan Hakim I made a mistake right there unfortunately I don't really have a way to fix that one I mean maybe now that I think about it I could I could try and pull pull some Polska in here you know start to add some some lines. Yeah, that works. We can cover it up. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to think a little creatively when you want to fix those mistakes. Oh, Roshan, why am I talking to you? I thought you were on Instagram. I was looking at the wrong thing. Never mind. I'm not talking to you anymore. All right. So, Luke, does this help you at all? I hope it does. Um, so, I I'm thinking like some sort of red leather on the top right some sort of red leather here 
I need a darker red. I need a darker red. If you guys listen to that song WAP yet, please keep the language clean. But holy cow, I don't know, I don't know uh, what happened in the world recently, but man, whew, that's some, some intense stuff. And then I watched the video and I was like, what am I watching? And I'm no, I'm no like, you know, stick up my rear kind of guy, but holy cow, that was something. I'm just saying. Then there was there's some drama about uh, Carol Baskin. If you don't know who that is, um, she interacted with Cardi B. I guess <laughs> Cardi B. Cardi B was like, "Yo, you killed your husband." I am using A4 Roshan. Um, this is some of my favorite paper. This is um, Copic marker paper. They don't really make it anymore. At least not this same thing. There's like a knockoff. Um, so I just have a few pads of this left. I got some of these pads I got all the way back when I was working for GM. As an intern. And I just kept them. So... So yeah, I've had I've had some of these pads for what would that be? 14 years now. Ugh, I can't find. Okay, let's use this cool gray too. Thank you, Antibus. Um, anyhow, that was some drama from this week. Did you guys see that Apple and Epic Games are in a fight? If you have no idea what's going on there, that's it's also some interesting news. Um. Man, the world is the world is crazy right now. So I think I'm gonna try and do like a burl wood on the inside here. I hope you approve, Luke. This is probably higher end than your shop does, or is it? Do you guys do like super high end stuff like this? Um, also, it depend. It really just depends on the phase of the project. <laughs> Roshan's gonna snap and frame it. Um, it really just depends on the phase of the project and where you're at. If you'd want to go higher resolution or higher fidelity, um, sometimes too, you might be better served with like a computer rendering. So that's something to consider as well. If you want to go, you know, learn how to do um, CAD. And then that way you can you can create a bunch of options for your clients. So it might be a more efficient way to work. I was actually chatting with uh, my friend Roshan that I've been mentioning this morning. Well, morning for me. He doesn't sleep. He's actually a vampire. Um, but we were chatting about like process and sketching. And I was like, yeah, I don't like to spend more than you know, 15, 20 minutes on a sketch tops. And I'm spending way too much time on this already, but Luke threw down, so here we are. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. Back in the day, sketching was more of a medium that was the best approximation of reality. But as we have better tools, it makes more sense to... Um, hold on just a sec, I need to change this music here yeah here we go um it makes more sense to use those tools all right what's up d hawkins good morning australia thanks for joining you maniac what time is it in australia is it like it's saturday morning but what time i'm not gonna pretend to know because i don't live in australia clearly well, maybe that's not clear, but I'm not in Australia for those wondering. I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. I've barely made any dent in my whiskey, by the way. <laughs> Hammer Shed Azara. I don't know how to say your username. I said they were waiting for the vertical lines in the cup holder. Well, we got to aesthetically tie in somehow. So maybe there's just a little little red trim there. Mm, 
money on the cup holder. And then we can throw the gray in so you got that like visual tie-in. Why not? Why not? So yeah, I, I'm a big believer in right tool for the job. So far, VR is not the right tool for me, but I am learning. I do have an Oculus Quest. Um, oh, all right, I'm gonna have to use my Copics. I cannot find for the life of me the right gray. So because you guys threw down, there's money on the line, I will use my expensive markers for you and because I love you. What's up, Spang? Hello. I thought you said, when I read your message, I thought it said, hello, baby, how are you today? I was like, what? <laughs> I'm having fun. It's It was a little rough day, me and the kiddos. Um, if you can allow me to get a little personal on the stream. I don't usually get personal, but I full-time single dad it. In the summers, I don't have my kids. And so it's always an adjustment when they come back, like they're trying to figure out, you know, life and what's happening and figure out like, it was funny when they came back this summer, they were like, just so disoriented. But today we just had like a really, uh, I can't like, I want to cry when I talk about it, but we just had a very intense, um, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get real with you guys. We just had an intense discussion, you know, my my oldest, um, and I never use their names, but you could probably figure it out if you wanted. Um, my oldest just, he said to me, he's like, you know, I know life is gonna be hard, but I'm nine and I have to be thinking about these things. And I was like, holy cow. It like, it wrecked me for a minute. So I just, I was gonna go on live earlier and then I didn't cause I just needed time to kind of get myself together. So I hope you guys understand and I love doing what I do, but I'm also a dad and I've gotta, I gotta do right by those, those sweet boys. So anyhow, good thing the, good thing the front camera is not on me right now. Um, yeah, it's just hard. It's really hard. ZBrush forever. I have not tried Maya Blender or ZBrush yet. What's up, Caroline from the Caribbean? Um, I <laughs> I downloaded Blender. I haven't even installed it yet just because I didn't have time this summer because I was working on my lamps. But like I said, my website will be live soon. That's 5050.design. That is my... That's That's going to be my home for my portfolio and all the things I love, whether it's furniture, photography, um, art, my art show that I, art slash design show I did this summer will be there as well. So that's where all of that stuff is gonna be. All right, Luke. So the last thing you wanna do if you're presenting this to a client is you want to label things, right? Um, different sketches have different purposes, different reasons for existing. Um, in this case, this is more of a quick presentation sketch. I know I said I'd only be here for 45, but I did promise a bike, so we'll do a quick bike. Um, so you want to add some labels, right? And where it's helpful, you can add visual examples. So like, if this were opening, you could have a little vignette sketch right on the top here. You know, just a little, just a little sketch to help out, help explain the concept. You could, you could attach that to the main sketch and then explain what's happening, right? Um, and then here we could call out perhaps the material. So like something like quilted leather. Sometimes I'll even put question marks in my sketch because that leaves a little room for interpretation, right? Um, something like this, I didn't quite finish up, but I gotta make sure I have the right gray. But if this is leather too, we can add, and this is very subtle, but we can add a couple little crease lines 
in this as well. Unless it's like a straight patent leather, but that would look that would look different, right? So here we can kind of do the same thing. You know, maybe it's whatever type of leather. I'm just gonna put junk text in there um, as well. <laughs> Thank you, Roshan. Um, and then here we could say, you know, heated slash cooled cup holder, something like that. And then here we've got our, I'm just gonna call it roll top. Roll top slash T-O-N-N-E-A-U cover. Okay, always sign your work of course. And then for the arrow, you could add color if you want. You could add color in the background, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadow to the arrow so it doesn't, normally I'd make it red, but I don't want it to compete with the red here. Um, there's little things you can do, like we can add some extemporaneous external lines here just to give the sketch energy. There's all sorts of little tricks. Back in the day, I used to do this circle thing with an arrow to call attention to the main stuff. So you just kind of have to find your style, find what works, and then just roll with it, right? It's kind of like life. Eventually you figure out what works and you just do that. All right, so there's my center console. Luke says, why did I leave the side gray? Is that too soon materials gray? Um, if you're talking about right here, it is because I wanted this to be like a white leather. White's really hard. Um, if this were outdoors, for example, we're gonna get a little bit of bluish up in here on the white. Um, so I could grab something like a blue pencil, like a really light blue pencil. And you know, kind of shade a little bit on the top. Just like that, just a little bit of blue. You know, kiss that paper with the blue. And then you could kind of kiss the side with the brown. And that's really just about pulling in the environmental colors to make, um, make this feel white. So if you want, and I'll just add the blue here too, but take something white outside and see what happens to the color. Um, also, one thing you can observe, if, you're, if your house has white walls, look at what happens when the light, yeah, totally fine, Luke, just hit me up on Patreon. Um, if you look at the walls in your house when the light's coming in from the outside, you'll see that the walls actually kind of take on the color of the environment. So white is hard to do, but it's not hard if you just keep your eyes open, pay attention to what's happening, um, and go from there. All right. Hammer Shedzalzaza is asking, does it need red shadow? Um, I mean, you could, you could have red, but that's assuming that there's like a red seat next to this or a red seat here. And I'm not really throwing down and making that declaration. So this is just my quick center console. If I were to change anything here, I'd actually make this a little bit longer. It feels short but um, it is what it is for now. All right, so, um, and so I'll put these aside for you, Luke, right here. So I'll put the first sketch down, this one, and the perspective overlay. Um, if you want, I'll throw in the house as well, unless someone else wants to purchase the house, but all the sketches I do, I do make available for purchase if you like as well. All right, so motorcycle, similar thing. We can kind of just, got to get that perspective right. You guys are like eagle-eyed, eagle-eyed perspective hawks. So I could start with something like this, just a little frame. Okay, we can start cutting into the frame. So that's where our engine's gonna go, seat, mud flap, all of that stuff. Um, I'm not gonna proclaim that I'm, are you boys okay? I have no idea what's happening. I'm not going to proclaim that I'm a motorcycle expert, but you know, I do know there's a fork. It's going to be some sort of light and I'll overlay this handlebars, maybe some sort of windshield mud flap. And then of course I can throw. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go soon guys. My kids sound like they're about to kind of kill each other.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to go in a minute. So let me just do this real quick. Um, I'm not gonna do any um, shading on it, but it sounds like we have a situation foot outside my door. If we wanna check our perspective on my lips here, we can do that. Tell you what, um, if I go live tomorrow, but I will be going live Sunday for sure, I'll do another motorcycle for you guys. Cause this one's gonna be kind of fast and messed up, so. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> you obviously can't hear what's happening, but I can and I'm like, this does not sound good. All right, so I'll just do some body here, something like that, and then on the side, I mean, you can take a look at engines and kind of make it look engine-like, whatever, but hopefully you can kind of see the process at least. Um, taking that underlay, um, if we have things like exhaust, if this is a, a gas engine, right, we can kind of include that maybe some sort of suspension i like uh direct drive on motorcycles because it just makes it a little easier to to draw again quick check on perspective right there and then i'll just fill in but that's uh basically how i might address it there's so much wrong with this but i feel like i have to go take care of the kiddos so i just want to do this real quick just to show you guys. We'll do another one at some point, maybe a quick quick shadow, whatever. But really quick, easy, whatever, no big deal. Um, sorry I have to run. I'm like dripping sweat too in my studio, but um, thank you for joining. Instagrammers, I think your stream's gonna end in like 30 seconds, so um, it's been a pleasure, thank you. Thank you, YouTubers, it's been awesome. Appreciate you, Luke. Shout out, you're a real one. Um, thank you for the contributions, donations. Thanks for being patrons. If you want access to these sketches, they will be available on the Patreon folder. That's also available in the Discord. There's a special Discord channel for patrons as well. Much appreciated. Much love to you. Thanks for joining. I got to bounce before my children murder each other. So with that, take care and I'll see you next time right here on Sketch